welcome to my channel. I am so excited that St. Patrick's Day is coming up. I love St. Patrick's Day. As many of you do not know, I am part Irish and a lot of people don't believe me that I am. I just talked to my mom this morning about how we have to prove that we do have some Irish in us. So my mom's dad is full Irish and so I got a little bit of Irish in me, so I want y'all to know. All right, guys, so let's get into this St. Patrick's Day Irish green fun leprechaun inspired look just in time for the holidays. All right, I already have my base done. I put my foundation, my bronzer, a little bit of contouring and prepped my eyelids so that I don't waste any more of your time. And let's get into the eyebrows. I want to play with Viseart's palettes. This is their editorial palette and this is their dark matte palette and I'm just really into the orange and the greens and we're gonna do our little leprechaun St. Patrick's Day inspired look using these two palettes along with some other fun products. All right I want to create a bit of an ombre green brow and I'm really loving these two shades of green here. I might go into an even darker green to darken up the tips of my eyebrows here. So first let's start with this color here. It's a very very nice true green and we're gonna fill in our eyebrows okay so I'm following the normal shape of my eyebrow like I normally do but I'm gonna exaggerate a little bit up here in the corner so that I have a nice peak now I'm picking this more neon green shade and that's gonna go in the front of my eyebrows towards the front of my eyebrows I really love how pigmented and beautiful these Viseart Brights matte eyeshadows are. I mean, that is just amazing to me. Now I'm going back to that true green shade and I'm gonna kinda carve out the bottom shape of the eyebrow here. So it's just gonna be a little bit darker right on the bottom. That's gonna create a nice gradient ombre effect. Now for the tail of the eyebrow, I'm going into the Dark Mattes palette and picking up this more of a foresty olive green shade here and that's going to darken out the tip and bring it all together. You kind of overlap it a little bit with that true green and blend it down and then flick your tip. All right, I'm gonna finish both brows and kind of correct it with some concealer and then we'll be right back to do the eyeshadow. All right, the eyebrows are done and let's go ahead and move on to some orange glam blown out eyeshadow. I am going into the dark matte palette and I am picking up this orange shade right here. It is so beautiful and it blends like a dream. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to put this in my crease. So I'm placing this first shade of orange right here in the crease to kind of serve as my transition color. Even though we're gonna build this whole eye look off of orange, it's still nice to kind of have a starting point. So I'm gonna do what I normally do, fill in my crease and then buff it out kind of as it spreads out and looks a little bit more blown out and diffused. Okay, now we are really layering it on there and getting as much coverage as possible because I really want this orange to pop. Now I'm gonna add that same shade to my bottom lash line and just really smoke that out way further down than I normally do. I got inspired to do this look by It's Ariella and she is so amazing. Let me show you guys her profile. Like she is so fierce. I'm loving the darker lips and the orange eyeshadow and it's just so fierce. So shout out to this little lovely because she is freaking amazing and I'm definitely going for her same vibe because I feel like that is just the perfect St. Patty's Day look for this year. So girl, you killed it. Now I'm using a little fluffy brush and really going to blend that out and really diffuse it. All right, now that we're all blended out and looking all sickly and such, let's move on to deepening up this crease here. 
And I'm going to pick up this shade here. These don't have shade names, or at least not that I can see, but it's just the uh, deeper orange here. I'm deepening up the crease here, really focusing it on the outer corner, but definitely bringing it all around the arch of the eye. Okay, next step, I'm going to coat the inner portion of my eyelid with some concealer. This way, the bright orange that I'm going to lay down on top really sticks really nicely. Y'all already know I'm not the best at cut creases, but we are going to give it a shot. This isn't necessarily going to be a cut crease, but this is the first step you would do for a cut crease, but I'm definitely gonna blend it out so it's not so harsh. Well, let's see what happens. Now I'm picking up this yellow shade from the editorial palette and I'm going to really tap in and pat in that, did I just say yellow? Next I'm picking up this hot bright orange shade in the editorial palette and I'm going to really dip in good and then pat really nice and slow so that way we get a really bright vibrant payoff. I mean that's pigmented. And I'm just really working this in. Getting near the tear duct, but that's not absolutely important because we're gonna highlight that area. But just getting some coverage in here. Okay, next for the center of the lids, we are picking up a NYX pigment and this is in the shade Go Ham. So this is a beautiful gold shimmer shade. I use this pigment in my Kat Von D Satan Center palette Inspired Skeleton and it is a bomb pigment, let me tell you. So we're gonna do a little bit of Fix Plus on our brush and tap it in right in the center. This just brings the lid a little bit more forward and adds a little pop. I definitely want that to be more gold so I'm gonna layer that up a little bit more. So I just poured a little bit of pigment out in my hand and I'm just gonna use my finger this time to see if I can really get that gold. That is what I'm looking for. We're gonna blend this out, not to worry. I have a little bit of that orange on my brush to help blend this all together. Sometimes you have to keep going back and forth to really get that desired blend. Doesn't always happen on the first try, but you gotta keep on going. I'm gonna add that same pigment onto my lower lash line, just right in the center, to really kind of highlight and bring that forward as well. Now I'm taking some of that same gold and I'm gonna highlight right under each little green eyebrow to really connect this gold and green. I mean, it can't be a St. Patty's Day look without some gold, right? Okay, now I'm really nervous to do this step, but it is to kind of rosy up the cheeks here with that same orange color. And we're doing this together, you guys. Take a deep breath. I think we'll be okay. So I'm taking the smallest amount of this I mean, barely, barely any. And we'll start really, really light. Like the lightest ever. And then we'll build on it. This is the base for our little green freckles. Our rhinestone freckles, I don't know. I can't decide what direction we are going to go with this. But this is where we're starting. I'm also gonna add some of that orange right at the tip of my nose to warm it up. Okay, I was scared of using the orange and I think I'm okay with it. I'm still a little scared, but let's just keep it moving. I'm picking up NYX Cosmetics Illuminating Powder in Synthetica, it, or Synthetica, um, and it's this really pretty orange highlight. So let's see how this looks on the cheekbones. 
Ooh, really pretty. Love that. Cute. Okay, let's move on to some eyeliner. I'm going to pop on some black eyeliner and lashes. Well, let me do the eyeliner and lashes and mascara, and then I'll come back and show you what eyelashes I'm going to use. Okay, guys, I finished the eyeliner. Finish. I finished my eyeliner, and I also added some white eyeliner in my waterline and added a cute little peak right in the center. I thought it gave it more like a whimsical, animal-y type of vibe, and I like it. So now, maybe you guys can help me decide on which eyelashes to wear. I got this special little gift in the mail from Rouge and Rogue, and they have the most beautiful, oh my gosh, the most beautiful eyelashes I've ever used. And I'm just so thankful that they sent me some. So let's go ahead and use it for this look. All right, they sent me three different pair and I love their packaging because, this is not sponsored by the way, I just wanted to show you, because they always put a little quote or saying in with each little pair of lashes. And this one says, you're a dreamer, a doer, a thinker, you see possibility everywhere. So I think that's pretty awesome about this brand. Um, they just really know how to get me right here. Fluffy lashes and a good quote. I mean, that's all you need. All right, so this pair is called Miss Fury and I wanted some really big lashes and I think these are gonna be it. But let's look at the other two. This one is Noriella. I love Noriella, but the other ones are a little bit bigger and a little bit more intense. And now let's look at this last pair. These are Nirvana. So these are really pretty too, but I think, I think we wanna go with these really dramatic Miss Furies. Yeah, let's do these. Okay guys, I just popped this side on and can we talk about like how fierce these lashes are, I'm so excited. They were a little long for me, so I cut off the tip and we're gonna put them on the bottom. So that's gonna be really fun. And now let's pop this side on. I'm trying to aim them so they're like up so that you can really see them. I mean, you guys, I have never seen in my entire life such a beautiful, fluffy, luxurious lashes. I glued on the ends I cut off here on the bottom here and I'm gonna do the same on the other side. All right, let's try gluing on this outer lash. I think it's okay. Let's add a little bit more of the little individuals. I have some here and we'll go ahead and add some more so that way it kinda, you know, evens it out, even things out a little bit. Okay, now we're in business. All right, friends, I got the bottom eyelashes on and the top, and now I'm realizing we need a little bit of highlight in the inner corner. So I am picking up my Persona Identity Palette and using the highlight shade, which I love so much. It's my favorite one in all the worlds, and it is in the shade Sassy. I'm just gonna pack that in right in the inner corners. I'm also gonna use that same highlight and just a little bit here on the nose. And I'm also going over that gold with this white because I think it needs a little bit more of a pop. If I can move this little hair out of the way. All right, y'all, I am itching to do some lipstick. So before I do the freckles, let's put on some lipstick so that we kind of have an idea of what direction we want to go in. Okay, for the lips, I'm gonna try to do this little duo combination here. All right, right here we have a NYX retractable lip liner in the shade black. And for the liquid lipstick, we're going to use Wet n Wild's Liquid Katsu Lipstick, and this is in the shade Emerald City. How perfect. First, I'm gonna prep around my lips with this orange shade here. And I just kind of want a little bit of an orange glow coming from the green lips. It always looks funny at first, but then it pulls together.
Now it's time for lip liner. Y'all already know the drill. I overdraw my lips. I do it on the daily. And when I'm doing a little bit more of a character makeup, I go all out and do like my Disney princess lip. And that's what I want to do today. And I get to do it because it's my prerogative. All right, we got the shape down and I'm moving on to the lipstick. This is so beautiful, I've never tried it. This looks perfect. All right, you guys, this color is pretty much dried and I'm thinking, I don't know, now that I put the orange down, I feel like the lips do need to go all the way out. So I'm gonna fix that and then we'll add some lip detailing. Okay, now that we have our lips on, I think I wanna add some, some color on top. So I'm gonna try to go into this kind of more of a minty turquoise shade and see what that does over top of this color. And just kind of right here in the center. Oh yeah, that's nice. Just gonna lighten that center up just a little. I'm picking up Tarte's Amazonian Blush, 12 hour blush, and this is in the shade Genius. All right, now I wanna add some highlight on top of my lips. So I'm gonna add a couple of little white dots here, and then maybe a little bit on the side to just make it look almost like I have a gloss on from far away. And then a little bit there. Yeah, I like it. All right, you guys, let's add some, a little bit of freckles. We have a couple options here. I have these cute little green pearls, which might look cute kind of on the side. Oh, I like that. Or what about on the side of my eyebrow? That's cute, let's do that. Let's do it on the side of the eyebrow. Yeah, I think it might stay. Okay, you guys, I wish I recorded that, but I drew a little tiny shamrock on my cheek and I wanna do a bunch of them all across the front right here, like if they were freckles. I'm drawing three sets of hearts, one facing up, side, the other side, very easy, and then a little tail. So I just drew the baby heart facing up and then I'll do two sides and a little tail. I hope you guys can see that. Do you see that? And then the babyest little tail. All right, I'm gonna add a few more and we'll be right back. Okay, we have our little shamrocks painted on and now I'm just gonna go ahead and dot in some freckles to kinda Add a little bit more of a touch. Oopsie, I almost forgot to tell you what I used for the little shamrocks and that is this NYX Vivid Liner in Vivid Envy. And then to highlight each one, I'm going in with this NYX White Liquid Eyeliner to kind of give it a little pop the same way we did on the lips. All right, you guys, I think we're about finished with the overall look. There is one little thing I wanna do and add the gold drip, but in case that messes everything up, I am just going to close out this video and say I love you, thank you for watching. Oh, let me at least take these little 
these little hair clips out. All right, you guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this look and want to see others in the future, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm also on social media. I am at Gorgeous Effects on Twitter and Instagram. And then I am Jessica A.M. Khalil on YouTube, Facebook, and Vero. So don't forget to check me out. Oh, and not only subscribe, but I would love for you to hit the notification bell so that you get a notification when I I post a video hopefully hopefully that works <laughs> so you guys try it out thank you for being a part of my jesse squad i hope you have an amazing saint patrick's day i will totally be celebrating it it is my mother-in-law's favorite holiday she is irish to the core and i have some irish in me so we go together with our little saint patrick's day festivities and we're so excited about it with all of the decorations so once again, you guys, lots of love from my home to yours. Just so you know, I posted a eight tips to help you in the face awards video. Um, it's either before this one or the one before. Check it out if you're interested in trying out for the face awards or trying out. If you're interested in submitting a look this year for the face awards, I offer lots of tips and advice and motivation and just really encourage you to go ahead and shoot for the stars, go for your dreams and just absolutely give it a try so i hope you guys get to check out that video i will also link it down below so this will be the end for now and i love you guys lots of love from my home to yours and until the next video bye mm -hmm.